good morning. I've just woken up. This video is especially for my family, uh, just to show you guys uh, what life is like for me here in Saudi Arabia. So I've just woken up. Uh, I'm gonna go make myself a smoothie and then have a bit of a workout. Uh, just to wake myself up. And then after that, I'll catch you guys on my walk to the bus. So see you soon. way to start the day. <clears throat> I thought you wouldn't appreciate joining me in the shower, but uh, maybe for me, maybe for breakfast. So, yeah, what I'm going to do is show you an average day in Saudi Arabia. After this, I'm going to have a bit of a workout uh, and then walk to the bus, uh, which it's a nice scenic view. I live in a nice neighbourhood. I'll show you the neighbourhood. Uh, jump on the bus. Uh, I've got some nice colleagues. I'm not sure if they'll appreciate being filmed, so I might not get much footage. Um, go to campus, go to my office. I'll show you around the campus. Um, then I'll teach a few classes. Um, and then I pretty much, yeah, when I'm done, I usually just come home. Um, and that's about it, really, guys. Anyway, finish this, get my workout done, and uh, I'll catch you soon. Okay, so I'm just walking to the bus. So I work at a university and they kindly provide a bus service from the neighborhood that I live in. But the nearest bus stop is around about a 20 minute walk. And uh, apologies for all of these, uh, I guess, uh, this bad footage uh, while I'm filming, but I'm fairly new to all of this uh, vlogging and YouTube stuff. Uh, so yeah, so my, the bus isn't far. Uh, hopefully, I'll be able to show you some footage of the bus. Maybe even can meet the bus driver called Aldo, who's an absolute gentleman. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you soon. So I'm almost at the bus stop, but I just wanted to show you a few things. First of all, it is mid-November. Check out that sky. Beautiful blue sky. Second of all, um, so I used to have a car. I rented a car for a short time. I even bought a car for a short time. Um, but I don't have a car at the moment because I usually just take the bus, sometimes I Uber, walk most places and occasionally I ride my bike. Um, also I just wanted to stop here because I'm not sure if you can see that but there's a nice hill up there. Uh, that's great for sort of going for a walk so you can have a look over, over Riyadh. Uh, but as I said we are almost at the bus stop so I'll try and get some footage of the bus and the bus driver because he's a really cool guy. Uh, so yeah. Chat soon.
All right, my bus is in sight. But here in Saudi Arabia, in mid-November, we don't have to wear masks anymore outside. Um, there was a, a king's decree, but uh, when inside, so in buses or inside buildings, we do still have to wear masks. So I'm just gonna whack on my mask in preparation for jumping on the bus. So uh, yeah, see you soon. All right, so here I am, uh, first bus stop. I'm the only person. So uh, we're gonna start driving soon and pick up some more people and then uh, head on to the campus. Show you one of the average crash rooms. Uh, let's see if there's anyone in. Oh, okay, people are in the crash room, so I can't show you. Uh, but I can give you a little tour of my office. Uh, let's have a look. The grand tour, okay? So, there's my schedule, and there's my office. Uh, that's pretty much it. So, that's where I make lessons and the catch up on admin and sort of, uh, yeah, email students and all that kind of stuff. So next, guys, I guess uh, I'll give you a quick tour of the campus. All right, guys, so I'm here on campus and I uh, just wanted to introduce you to a couple of my good friends. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone in the UK. Welcome to Saudi Arabia. See uh, our life. And guys, what's it like studying? Is it, do you enjoy university? Do you no, not no, enjoy university? No, it's, uh, it's a good, good if, you if you have you, let uh, you are the best teacher in this university. Well, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Well guys, I'll see you in class and good luck with your exams. Okay? Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Have a nice day. Day. Cheers. Nice Alright guys, Hi. a few more students. Hi Mr. James, how are you? My name is Abdullah Al Ghalb, my name is Faisal Al Uthman. And you guys have an exam today, don't you? Yeah, it's easy. It's easy? Yeah, yeah. Hey, what, I want to see Mia for Mia. Mia for Mia. Mia for Mia. Without just leak. Without just leak. Without just leak. So this video is just mainly for my mum and dad in England to show them Saudi Arabia. Hi, uh, mothers uh, and uh, fathers, uh, James. How are you? <laughs> He's the best teacher in the world. Yeah, right. I swear. Don't guys. sleep. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Cheers, guys. You have Thank a great you. day. Okay, good luck. There we go, guys. So you've met a few of my very good students. I should have maybe shown you a few videos of classes, but uh, I don't know, didn't get, didn't get around to it. So um, after classes now, I am walking to a restaurant, one of my favorite restaurants. And then after that, I'm gonna walk to the, uh, the supermarket, one of my favorite supermarkets, get some groceries, and then I'll, uh, I'll head on home. But while I'm walking to the, uh, the restaurant and the supermarket, I'm just gonna show you a few videos and photos of some, uh, some cool things on the way. So here I am, here in Riyadh's Tahlia Street, which is a street that's full of restaurants, cafes, and all those kind of places. And I was going to take you to a very traditional uh, sit-down Middle Eastern restaurant to show you uh, to show you some uh, Middle Eastern cuisine. But I'm actually going to go to a Canadian-owned Mexican restaurant here in Riyadh. So, uh, oh yeah, I guess it just shows the globalization side. So this is Tahlia Street. And as you can see, it's full of restaurants and cafes and stuff. Uh, it's a nice place to walk. Although you guys aren't really getting the full experience because this place is, it's a nighttime place really. So if you come down here at night, it's all lit up and uh, it's pretty busy, there's people everywhere. But yeah, it's just a lunchtime on a workday week, so it's not too busy. Anyway, I'm getting hungry. So uh, let's go get some food. All right, so I appreciate this isn't traditional Saudi Arabia, but it is a great restaurant. Uh, so yep, I'm just going to tuck into my food, which is uh, 
basically a rice bowl uh, with lots of different vegetables. Now, I'm going to carry on walking down the street uh, to a supermarket, get some groceries, and uh, then head on home. And uh, yeah, maybe do a bit of chilling out. All right, so as I was walking to, as I was walking to the supermarket, I thought I'd stop here to show you some cool buildings. So uh, you can see those behind me. Um, and also just here and here, so uh, there's some cool buildings in the background there, but also just around here, this is uh, the Riyadh Metro, so they're building um, a metro here in Riyadh, and it should be finished pretty soon, uh, so this will be one of the metro, metro stations here. Uh, yeah, this is pretty central Riyadh, this is kind of, uh, yeah, almost in the heart of the modern part of Riyadh. Uh, there's also an old historical area called Alderia, but man, that's a whole other episode in itself. Yeah, trendy, I guess, uh, perfume shops and watch shops and things like that. As well as the traffic, I figured that if I sold my car, it would force me to walk more and uh, experience more of Riyadh uh, by foot. And, uh, and also ride my bike more, so good for fitness. That's a call to prayer. So uh, almost at the supermarket guys. Sorry about the, the long wait. And here we are. So I'm gonna go to this grocery supermarket store today. Um, it's on the way back to where I live. Uh, it's, I reckon it's, it's a bit, a bit of the higher end sort of uh, supermarket. There's some other ones which are a lot cheaper. Um, but yeah, and sometimes I visit those, but today I'm just going to visit this one. Uh, as you can see, it's in a very nice area. So right in the far distance way over there, you've got Mamluka. That's one of the famous landmark buildings in, uh, in Riyadh. And we've got all of these mega high rises around here. Uh, and that's also just behind that building there, um, the one with the big ball on the top. That's called uh, Faisalia. Uh, so that's also a famous landmark. I think that was built by uh, uh, Foster and Partners, which is uh, uh, an English uh, architecture firm. And yeah, this is just like a little plaza. And then in we go into the supermarket. Welcome to one of my local supermarkets. As you can see, it's fairly similar to the ones back in the UK. Uh, massive variety of fresh fruit and veg which is always good and then they've got the fish market at the back and uh, uh, what should we call it market back of beans market and uh, yeah so I'm gonna get some stuff and uh, yeah just show you, show you around a little bit <laughs> Just 
come across this cool machine, it turns your peanuts right into peanut butter, right in front of you, and for a very good price. How good is that? All right, guys. So I have just got back from my day. I did some teaching, met some students, met some colleagues, um, went for a nice meal, and then I did some grocery shopping. Um, for the rest of the day today, I'm not doing much, but maybe I should make a video for Thursday. I'll make a video on Thursday because on Thursday I'm playing a bit of football uh, at my university. We've got a, a few teams going, which one of my good colleagues is organising. Uh, so yeah, maybe I'll make another video about that. Um, but for now, thanks for watching. Ma salama. Goodbye. Oh. Uh, one last thing before we depart. So this video is dedicated to my mum and dad um, purely because um, they were supposed to be coming out to Riyadh, um, Saudi, uh, probably this week or next week, um, but they can't make it uh, at least uh, this time around because um, they've got a lot on their plate. The restrictions are crazy at the moment still as well, it's a bit uh, difficult to travel, but also they've uh, recently had a little uh, puppy so uh, yeah they're gonna, they're gonna look after the little puppy but uh, yeah as I said thanks again uh, for watching and uh, maybe see you in another episode